Hi guys. This is Mr. Farmer. For years, pharmaceutical industries are trying to keep pace with the rapid speed of technology. In the new era, pharmaceutical industries are expecting new digital technologies that are going to impact drug development and commercialization and feel that emerging technologies such as AI and 3D printing will bring changes to business models, operations, workforce, and cybersecurity. Cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, blockchain, and the Internet of Things are steadily transforming drug research and development, pharmaceutical logistics, and drug distribution by leveraging extensive data and improving inefficient workflows. If we don't adapt to these new changes, we will be at risk of losing our job, business, etc. And let's see the trends that are making an impact on the pharmaceutical industry in the near future and let's be future ready by understanding these changes. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal. The pharma you need to know, share and grow. Artificial intelligence is the broad discipline of creating intelligent machines. Machine learning refers to systems that can learn from experience. Artificial intelligence and machine learning is definitely a game changer in the pharmaceutical industry. It has already set its footprint in farm industry and other healthcare systems. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are taking away multiple pharma jobs that are time-consuming especially in the field of drug discovery and clinical research, even has impacted clinical data management, regulatory affairs and quality assurance departments. For example, if data needs to be generated for side effects of a drug that normally takes a couple of months for thousand people, the AI and milliliters get the data generated in a day with multiple simulations. Because of its accuracy and time-saving effects, clinical research organizations and many of the other service-based companies have already shifted to artificial intelligence and machine learning-based works. In order to sustain in the pharma market, acquire a few of the programming skills. In simple terms, digitalization is the conversion of text, pictures, or sound into a digital form that can be processed by a computer and automation is the use or introduction of automatic equipment or applying an automatic step in a manufacturing or other process. Digitalizing all the manual work to electronic is already in place. That is going to a more stringent and paperless work environment will be the new system that will decrease the carbon footprint and will change the pharma industry. For example, if you had seen in recent years all the leadership and key stakeholders are using digital signatures instead of the wet signature, this digitalization has already changed the quality assurance and regulatory affairs department where most of the documents are now digitalized like dossiers in electronic formats. Similarly, formulation, analytical research, production, packing, quality control departments are slowly shifting to automated tools and machinery. The automation for each process is going in a steady phase and there will automated pharma production running with help of robots and a very less number of manpower in the future. For example, inside Amazon Delivery Hub 70% of inter-transportation is done by robots. The next technology is big data. As the name mentions big data means extremely large data sets that may be structured, semi-structured, or unstructured which needs to be analyzed computationally to reveal patterns, trends for achieving a clear output. Based on the past history of the data, a predictive analysis can be performed and modeled especially in clinical trials, drug discovery, precision medicine, and especially sales and marketing. For example, big data can help you identify the toxicity data or values without even conducting a trial based on its past experience and saving time money lives. Big data has influenced clinical data management, drug research development, and clinical data integration departments already and software tools are replacing all the difficult tasks that the experts encounter. Big data also is related to data science and programming and requires knowledge in data analytics and programming skills.
The next technology is the Internet of Things which describes the network of physical objects things that are embedded with senses, software, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the Internet. Internet of Things addition can help the manufacturing segment of the pharmaceutical industry like material tracking and management in the manufacturing process by using monitoring sensors that can reduce the risk of machinery malfunctions and guarantee accurate production by detecting issues and making adjustments before they cause a problem. In 2015, the FDA approved the first drug product combined with a digestible sensor with a type of drug against mental illness to measure drug adherence. This is an interesting technology. We know in vitro trials and in vivo trials, how many of us know in silico trials? What is an in silico trial? Generally, drug experimentation is done on animals or human beings, but now the research institutes are doing research on simulation model drug testing. In silico trials is a method that uses customized computer simulation in the development or regulatory evaluation of a medicinal product, medical device, or medical intervention. By using simulating model drug testing no one would get hurt in the drug testing process. Why are they needed? In order to save resources, money, experimental animals, time in preclinical and clinical studies in silico trials are helpful. Augmented reality is a perfect blend of the digital world and the physical elements to create an artificial environment. For example, pop out 3D photos. Virtual reality is a computer-generated simulation of an alternate world or reality. For example, third movies. GSK used an art tool to create the migraine experience which helped to understand what a migraine patient experiences. Augmented reality and virtual reality can also support in the pharmaceutical industry in remote maintenance and guidance, complex machine handling training, etc. Also, Augmented reality and virtual reality has been implemented in many pharmacies in America, where the VR tells the details of the medicine. Next technology is the blockchain technology, which is defined as a decentralized, distributed ledger that records the source of a digital asset. In simple terms a technology to transfer data in a secure manner. For example, Bitcoin transactions. Patient data needs to be confidential and blockchain protocols in clinical trials can provide transparency and traceability of consent and improve the quality and reliability of clinical trials data. Blockchain technology in pharma can keep the data secure and transfer data safer than ever. Nanotechnology is a field of research and innovation concerned with building things, generally materials and devices on the scale of atoms and molecules. Pharma companies believe that nanotechnology is going to change the picture of pharma drug discovery and diagnosis. Nanotech lays its hands on research and development department and boosts the drug discovery phase to a whole new level. Millions of money are invested by pharma companies in research for faster drug development. Though at the moment only formulation development department has been influenced. There is only a positive insight into this technology as it doesn't add any job risks to research scientists. In precision medicine technology, companies analyze a patient's DNA to identify which medications will be most effective for a specific treatment plan. Instead of manufacturing for millions of people with an average or median DNA, medicines and their dosages will become unique to every patient. Midma is an international genetics company that has already executed this technology successfully. The next tech is the third printing technology. In 3D printing, one creates a design of an object using software, and the 3D printer creates the object by adding layer upon layer of material until the shape of the object is formed. 3D printing shapes the pill by distributing layers of the drug and is porous enough to dissolve quickly. It is useful for patients who have difficulty swallowing their medication. By using a 3D printer, drugs can be produced in different shapes, sizes, and colors for easy intake in kids and older patients. These are the top 10 technologies that is going to reshape the global pharma industry. If I had missed any technology, kindly add in the comments.
Stay future ready guys. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked this video. If you liked it hit the like button and share this video with your friends, colleagues, and family members. For regular updates hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for immediate video release notifications. If you have any doubts and suggestions kindly provide them in the comments. See you all in another exciting video in Pharma Portal. This is Mr. Pharma signing off.